beautiful Saturday night here in Arlington, Texas, as the Texas Rangers get ready to play host to your Seattle Mariners. And look at that lone Mariner fan amidst these Ranger fans. He's a brave soul as we welcome you into Globe Life Park, game two of a three-game set. Mariners a game behind the first place Rangers, and tonight it's Nathan Carnes against Martin Perez. Here's a look in the Mariner lineup that will face Senor Perez. Franklin Gutierrez hitting second in the lineup, a nine-game hitting streak for Franklin, hitting 414, four home runs, and 10 over RBIs over the nine games. Nelson Cruz, three for four with a home run in his career against Perez, and Kyle Seeger keeps up with the hot hitting, and against Perez, hitting 455 with three home runs. Stay holy. Really had a good road trip, has his average up to 310 now. As you take a look at Mar Martin Perez, a 3-1-2 ERA, 40 strikeouts over 66 in the third. He does have 31 walks, and again, he's a ground ball pitcher, good fastball in the low 90s. Also makes in a change up with that, an occasional curveball. Take a look at the defense brought to you by American Family Insurance. And strong arms in the outfield. Have to be careful. All three gentlemen out there can really throw the baseball, so you're taking the extra base is going to be tough. Brunette Odor back in the lineup at second base after serving a seven-game suspension. Holiday will do the catching for the Rangers this evening. Here's Brunette Odor. No word of whether or not Don King called him or not. After his punch out, it was a good right hand. His right hands go. Cost of seven games. Most certainly did. So we are ready for action here. Sean O'Malley, first time leading off here in the 2016 season, his second start in center field. And for Sean, looking to get going here, four for 27 since his call up. This will be his 14th game. Rangers winning last night's game, 7-3 behind you, Darvish, out pitching Taiwan Walker. First pitch. Down low for ball one. Home plate umpire, Eric Cooper. Jim Wolf at first, Nick Lentz at second, crew chief Gary Cedarstrom at third. Hit hard off the glove of Beltre. Here's Andrews throwing a cross, and again. him. Five, six, three start to this ball game. For O'Malley, he hit the ball hard. Unfortunately, Beltre was able to get just enough of it right off the end of his glove on the line drive, and it goes right to Andrews. Strong throw across the diamond to just get Sean O'Malley. A little later start tonight. Penny Chesney was at AT&T Stadium. Just a short holler from here at Globe Life Park where the Cowboys play. Here's Franklin Gutierrez. Showing a good sense of humor right before the national anthem. So he's doing some stretching. He and Robinson Cano out to say hello to Root Ned Odor. And Gutie came up to Odor in a nice balanced right handed boxing pose. And had a couple of laps. Good sense of humor. You might want to be careful with that. Agreed. He didn't throw, <laughs> but he. <laughs> Every. Everybody having fun with Odor. <laughs> Tough little player, boy. And a good player. Yes, sir. Down the line goes foul. Franklin Gutierrez has his average up to 263, five home runs, 15 RBIs. Again, a nine game hitting streak for him. Ball and two strikes to Goody. Strength of this, or one of the strengths of this Texas Ranger buckle, their starting rotation is pretty good. It's very good. They had their issues with their bullpen, high ERA. So you get the starters out of the ball game, you have a chance to score some runs. Although I thought the Mariners offensively did a pretty good job against Darvish, who had good stuff last night. 2 2 to Franklin in the dirt. Take a closer look at Perez. His changeup is a very good pitch for him. You can see just hitting 178. His fastball, it's a good fastball at 93 miles an hour. Opponents hitting just 238. He will mix in an occasional curveball and slider. Basically, you're going to see a lot of fastballs from him over 60% in his changeup, especially when he gets into trouble. Swing and a miss. Strikes out Goody. Two down for Perez. His 10th career game against the Mariners, his eighth start. He's got a 2 and 2 record, 3 4 3 ERA. 
And it's just a well-located fastball at 93 miles an hour. You can see Holiday, the catcher, in the target. He hits the target as Franklin swings over the top of it. So two down here in the first brings up Robbie Cano. Cano extended his on-base streak to 32 games last night with a double down the left field line. That is a career high for him. 292 overall, 16 home runs, 48 RBIs. Doubled off the left field wall last night. Odor in short right field for Cano. Outfield deep. Or Perez, he's only given up five home runs this year, and that's a big part of the Mariners' offense. All five home runs to right-hand hitters. His ground ball percentage is at 58%. That's Oof. fourth highest in the American League, so a lot of ground balls. And that note you had earlier about the 17 double play ground balls already, and today's only June 4th. Tommy yeah. John has the record at 45. Perez pitched well in his last outing against Pittsburgh. He went six innings, seven hits, just two earned runs. It's taking more time than we usually see him take here. Previous meetings. Part of a rotation that includes Cole Hamels, Derek Holland, last night, Hugh Darvish, that pitch outside. Colby Lewis. Colby Lewis, 5 0 with a 3 0 9 ERA. Robinson Chirinos, the starting catcher, is on the disabled list, so might take a couple innings for Perez and Holiday to get on the same page. That's Colby Lewis. Robbie keeps the battle going here. Happy birthday to Scott Service. It's 49th. He'd probably like a win, don't you think, Dave? A win, Nathan Carnes. Give me, you know, time to give me, give me deep. Seven innings, maybe even more. And the thing yeah. that's interesting, as you know, about with Carnes pitching here at home, you hope he's not too geeked. Yeah, he's done such a good job of commanding the strike zone, especially with his fastball. But I'm sure he's excited to take the mound. See Scott Service talking to Martin. He'll be happy to have Marte and oh, Martin back in the lineup. Marte on Monday. Playing East next Friday. Robbie through the whole base hit extends his on base streak. That's a good at bat. That was the seventh pitch. And then he had a pretty good pitch. It was a fastball, 93 miles an hour, probably in off the plate. You can see Holiday set up in there, but he's able to get it through the right side of the infield. 33 consecutive games, reaching base. Brings up Nelson Cruz. He's got good numbers. There we go, 33 game on base streak, longest active here in the bigs. Brings up Cruz, who's three for four with a homer against Perez. Ellie had some good at bats in San Diego, and he's due for another home run streak. I think it's imminent. No, I would agree with you. Had some good swings. He's had some really good swings, and I was looking at it today, trying to figure out my pick. For the radio <laughs> side of things. Who'd you go with? Well, I mean, Kyle Seeger's numbers, and Kyle has been hot, and Kyle in this ballpark is even, I mean, it's tough to get away from Kyle. Sure. But I really wanted to go with Cruz, but because this club really needs a quality start from their starter, I went with Carnes. Okay. Good call. But I, I think Nelson is going to have a good night. Here's a 1 1. Radio Rick Riz, who'd he go with? And I think Rick ended up going with Nelson, I believe, okay. and I think Gary, Gary Hill. Had, had Kyle. All right, there you go. It might be reversed. I'm not sure. 
Let's hope all of you are correct. How's that? Would, that? that would be a nice evening. <laughs> <laughs> One and two to Nelly. Two outs. Cano at first. And he takes ball two, two and two. He pitched number 20 here. We see this every day. Get that pitch count up on these starters in the first inning. Well, we've talked about the struggles with Texas in their bullpen, so you certainly like to get into their bullpen. Tom Wilhelmson just recalled to the Texas bullpen. High pop, and it will get out of play. Another divisional action, Oakland and Houston tied 5-5 in the 11th in Houston. And Pittsburgh bumped off the Angels 8-7 earlier in the former Steel City, where we'll be later on this summer. I was watching a little bit of the A's in Houston going at it. Jed Lowry hit a home run off of Gregerson in the ninth inning to tie that ball mm. game up. Interesting. Here's Cano at second pitch. Only working a deep count, three and two. He can keep it going. Dejo Lee's on deck. Pitch number seven coming up here to Mr. Cruz. Cano's going to take off. Three two pitch here to Cruz. And a high fly ball, medium right field. Long run Odor, and what a catch. Talk about a flexible flyer. Boy, he is, must be a, a yoga enthusiast to bend the way he did to make this catch. Not the greatest angle for him. Well done. Rangers coming to bat. Find Sports Complex here in Arlington, Texas. There you look at Jerry's World, better known as AT&T Stadium with the Dallas Cowboys play. And Kenny Chesney with the concert, hence all the parked cars and the late start here as we take a look at the Rangers batting order against Nathan Carnes. And Desmond last night, four for five in the ballgame, scored a couple of runs. Adrian Beltre, two for three with a home run, five RBIs for him. And Odor back in the lineup after serving a seven-game suspension. Odor hitting 262 with seven home runs and 25 RBIs. First pitch from Cart. Outside to Profar. Profar DHing tonight. Or Nathan Carnes. Five and one record, a 3-4-3 ERA, 57 strikeouts and 57 and two-thirds. Opponents hitting 245 against Nathan. Good fastball in the low to mid-90s. Curveball, his best off speed pitch. He will mix in a changeup. And at five and one, Mike with a three-four-three. 
It's a strong limb that I go out when I say for your number five, those are outstanding numbers. Yeah, they really are. And granted, he's had some run support this year, but he's taking care of his business. And I, and I think the more that we see him and the more that he works in those bullpen sessions with Mel Stottlemyre, we've seen his velocity go up this year. He was 91, 92. Now we'll see him hit 95, at times 96 with the great curveball. And he's really been able to keep him in the strike zone, which will be a big key. Center field, diving and missing is O'Malley. Trouble. Profar to second. And he'll shut it down right there. O'Malley tried to lay out, make the catch, and couldn't come up with it. It'll be a double. It looked as if he was there on time. But take a look at the swing by Profar. He has been a hot hitter since being recalled. Line drive, see where the ball is as he goes. Yep, he was there in time to make the catch. Right off the side of his glove, he actually ended up getting a piece of it. Good thing, too, because that could have been three bags. And Lanis Martin, Leonis Martin, be back next week. And that's his spot, center field. And he has patrolled center field as well or better than anybody in all of baseball. Here's Desmond, hot hitter. Lays down a button. It's a good one. And miscommunication. Base hit. Runners hit the corners. Take a look at the defensive setup brought to you by American Family Insurance. A different outfield for you. Romero getting the start in left. O'Malley, as you saw, in center. Franklin Gutierrez will be in right field. Dejo Lee getting the, the start. At first base, Chris Iannetta had last night off. Clevenger did a nice job behind the plate last night and picked up a couple hits, but Chris Iannetta back behind the plate tonight. So some early difficulties here. A couple of men have reached, and no mark. Mazzara is coming up. Almost reflexively went into Garcia Park. I understand that. Sure. Not too many Nomars we know, you know what I'm saying? Well, this Nomar is hitting like Garcia Parra did, did, that's for sure. He's Man. been dangerous since being called up. He's been impressive, two for three last night. Drove in a run. Made two great catches back in Seattle. He has a 305 average, nine home runs for Mazzara, and a pretty good defender. And a very unique batting stance. And suggestions, Eddie Murray, Carl Crawford. This his wide open stance is more exaggerated than either one of those two gentlemen. And works for him. He's got nine home runs. Rangers last night, runners in scoring position, four for 13 on the season. Though. They are banging it out, 296. And 279 with two outs. Runners at the corners, nobody out here. We talked about it. We're looking at the lineups, and Beltre ended up driving in five runs last night. And you mentioned the 296. Beltre, the cleanup hitter for him, hitting 407 with runners in scoring position. So he has been dangerous this year. On one pitch here to Mazzara. Keeping Desmond close. Best base dealer. 11 out of 12. Or Ian Desmond, the former Washington National. He got a bag last night in the first inning. A decent lead. And a good pitch. Right at the bottom of the strike zone. 0 oh 2 here. 93 miles an hour. That's a movement on his fastball. Pretty good run to it. Mazar didn't like it, but it's a strike. Here comes the 0 oh 2. Good speed on the base paths. 
Wide ball left field. Romero going back. Texas on the board. Scoring easily is Profar. 1-0 Rangers as Mazzara picks up an RBI his 26th. And Mazzara now has five sacrifice flies. Takes over the team lead. He had been tied with Prince Fielder. Check out our Coors Light Cold Hard Facts. And Adrian Belcher, the former Mariner, the murder, just murder, I tell you. Look at that. Seven games, five extra base hits, 12 ribbies. Last night, two for three, a double, a homer, knocked in five. Beltre leads the Rangers in home runs and RBIs. Ten home runs, 40 RBIs for him. First pitch to Beltre. Nice block by Ionetta. We'll take another look at Nathan Carnes. This curveball, a really good pitch for him. Opponents hitting just 206. Not slugging much at 320. Changeup at times has been a problem. 353 at 529. He's had a good fastball this year. Opponents hitting just 247 against his fastball. Beltre one for five against Carnes. Foul off. Outstanding numbers from Beltre. Heart and soul of this ball club. Season best five RBIs last night. One one pitch. Ball two. Mel Stoudemire Jr., pitching coach for the Mariners. Looking on intently. Mel's got a new arm. Mike Hampton, bullpen coach with Edwin Diaz, called up today. Hard throwing, young right hander. O'Malley takes care of that slicing drive off the bat of Beltre. And after serving the suspension, big ovation by these Ranger fans, many of them rising to their feet for their second baseman, Luke Ben Odor. So two outs of run in. All right. That's a huge ovation from a big crowd. Last night they had 32,395. They had post game fireworks. Looks like they'll have at least that tonight. And during one of those gritty, gutty, get dirty, do anything to win kind of players. He has a lot of speed, but if you throw him a fastball, 2 0 3 1 count. He can hit it out of the ballpark. Seven home runs yes, for him. Yes, sir. 0 1. Desmond looks like he wants to run. Nathan's working hard to try to keep him over at first base. At least give Chris Ionetta a chance to throw him out. Rangers in first place by a game over the Mariners starting today. Seven over Houston. Seven over the Angels and seven and a half over Oakland as this day began. Desmond leaning, doesn't go. Pitch. Misses. One on one. Spike Owen, former Mariner. Third base coach, Hector Ortiz at first. goes good break it swung trouble. on that is trouble that's going to drop in front of Romero Desmond good speed's going to make his way to third and Bloper drops in and the Rangers inning continues 
Houston able to get in on his hands, elevated fastball, and that's the reason why he was able to hit it in the air. Slips on home plate as he's trying to lead the box. And he'll pick up a base hit. Ian Desmond all the way around to third. Again, you see him step on top of home plate. Another hot hitter to contend with here, the left fielder Ryan Rua. Comes in with a 296 batting average. Three homers, there's your nine ribbies. His last nine games, he's 10 for 22. Two for three last night against the Mariners. Current has got some work. Good pitch, strike one. Sixteen pitches, eleven strikes for Nathan. Chris is signs for the infield. Runners at the corners, two outs. Carnes pitching in his home area, Greater Dallas Metroplex. Blocked there by Ionetta. Very aware of Odor, who's six out of seven of base stealing at first base. Not a big lead by Odor, 1-1. One, one. Ball two. Been a rough go for Mariners starters the last eight games. Two and four record and 8-3-1 ERA. One quality start. Odor takes off, pitch, swung on, fair ball down the line. Desmond scores easily. Here comes Odor around third. As that ball bounced off the sidewall, got away from Romero. So Odor scores and all the way to second, ruin. It's a 3 0 Texas lead here in the first. Gets a curveball down and hits it right down the line. Gary Cedars from the crew chief, third base umpire today, calling it fair right away. You can see it hit the bricks. It was going to be a double either way. Tough break. Great jump by Odor. He was able to pick the ball up, picked up Spike Owen, and scores easily. Mitch Moreland, first baseman, batting in the seven hole. And look at Ruin, just drove in two runs. He's got 11 on the season. That's what he's done so far this season in the first. Strike one to Moreland. Which is free agent here 0 for 4 last night. Nathan now at 20 pitches, 13 strikes. Infield tilted right side for Moreland with Cano and short right field. Ryan Rua. What a roll he's on. He's now 11 for his last 23 with five runs batted in. Four doubles. Back with a strike.
Marlins a 243 career hitter against Mariner pitching. Ten homers, 35 runs batted in. Carnes trying to put him away here. 0-2. Ball one. Mariners in the top half of the first got Cano aboard with a two out single. Couldn't move him around. Here a sack fly by Mazar and a two run double by Ryan Rua. That was a really good block by Ian Evan. Last pitch bounced well out in front of home plate. Something that over the years, Dave, you and I have talked about and certainly aware of in this ballpark. Walks and defensive miscues will cost you here. It's cost Nathan Carnes here in the first inning. Com compounded by the fact that the great point you bring up every time we come here, how fast the surface is here. There are a lot of hits in this ballpark, and if you hit it in the air, you have a chance to hit it out. But the infield is really fast. We saw that last night. A line drive over the second baseman or the shortstop's head will get through the gaps in a hurry. 2-2 two -two pitch here to Moreland. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He needed that. Seven men to the plate. Rangers score three runs on four hits. No errors. Leave a man. To the second inning we go. Baseball here in Root Sports being brought to you by your local Ford stores by the Emerald Queen Casino presenting Master of Laughter Sinbad July 30th tickets at EmeraldQueen.com and by Safeco Insurance find a local agent at Safeco.com. Good look at Globe Life Park 22 years old a few years from now they're going to have a new retractable roof stadium here in Arlington Rangers lead it after one three nothing. For the Mariners here in the second, Day Holy, Kyle Seeger, and Chris Ionetta, 5, 6, and 7. And shout out to Zachary Corson, where I root, is watching from Southern California. Wanda Dale. And quickly become a defensive hitter. 0 and 2. Dale Lee. Good two strike hitting, Mike. We've seen that from him. The ability to hit the ball the other way. That last fastball trying to get it in on his hands, and it was elevated. And with two strikes, just trying to put it in play. You see the high target. A little inside out swing. He's really been swinging the bat well this year. Came into the game hitting 310 with eight home runs, 20 RBIs, and limited at bats. 
Take a look at Kyle Seeger and compare his numbers to a year ago. Mm. Maybe his favorite ballpark on the planet. Right here. Right here. And he was a hot hitter coming into this series. And he's had really good numbers as you see his numbers here at Globe Life. In 47 games, 351. And against Perez, 455 with three home runs in his career. The 1-1 count. Two for four night last evening with an RBI. Odor, they get the front end. And safe. Hey, Ali did not slide, and he's lucky he didn't wear one. Quick spin by Odor to get the lead runner. I was able to beat it, and you're right. I could have been seriously ugly. Talking to second base umpire Nick Lentz, Elvis Andrews, and Rubinette Odor. One out, one on for Chris Iannetta. And last evening off. Nice night for Steve Clevenger going two for three. Double and a single. Scored a run as well. Chris, two for seven against Perez. One. Chris's average has dropped down to 203, but he was up in the 230s not that long ago. Slicing pop right side, right on the line, and it goes into the stands. Ground rule double. Right on the line. Jim Wolf, first base umpire, right on the case. I think of it. It ended up hitting on the outside part of the chalk, so it wasn't fair by much as you take a look at it. Fastball flares it down the line. Chris wasn't sure that it was going to stay fair. And take a look. Right on the outside, you see a little bit of the chalk coming up. Bounces under the stands. So one out, two on, and sets up nicely for Stefan Romero. Romero ripping it up down at Tacoma, 358. Seven homers, 34 runs batted in in 39 games. 15 multi-hit games. Ball one. So an opportunity here in the second inning for the Mariners. Mariners threaten here, 1 0 pitch. And Romero has the advantage of 2 0. Stefan had a contribution in the game against the Padres, came off the bench, had a big base hit in that seventh inning, the big seventh inning for the Mariners. Line drive into right center field for a base hit and an RBI. Two-0. Off the fist, fouled it away. Well, Romero's been knocking on a door, you know, with this ball club. He's had some good runs. A big home run in Atlanta two years ago. Late in the game, put the Mariners in front, and they won a game down there. Fly ball center field. That'll pick up a run here. As Desmond makes the catch, Seeger scores. Mariners on the board. It's 3-1, Texas. And a good at bat for Stephen. 
picks up an RBI. The second since being called back up. Inside out swing on a fastball. Borderline strike inside. You can see him really pull his hands inside, try and get the barrel to it, and he's able to. First sacrifice fly of the season for Romero. Next weekend, big showdown taking place, safe goal field. The same two teams will be hooking up, so make sure you're there starting Friday the 10th as the Rangers and the Mariners battle for first place in the AL West for tickets all series long at Mariners.com. Is Luis Sardinius. Sardinius getting on a work at shortstop with Gatel Marte on the shelf. Marte getting in action with the Tacoma Ball Club. And Marte expected to rejoin us Monday in Seattle. The Mariners open up a week long homestand. Four against Cleveland, three against these Rangers. Good change up on Perez. Sardinius has not faced Perez. Perez, 25 years old, out of Benari in Venezuela. Undrafted free agent back in 07. Pulled in there, one and two. Sardinius so trying to keep it going. Sean O'Malley is on deck. The Mariners are hitting 270 as a team, runners in scoring position. One, two. Three changeups in a row. Able to lay off of that one. Next pitch will be 40 for Perez. Two and two. Full count now. Chris Ionetta, he's at second. Here's O'Malley. Perez having worked into a second full count here tonight. Here we go, the pitch. Out off. Didn't give in to him, another changeup. Skipper Jeff Bannister said that the changeup is his best put away pitch. Although this is Perez believes it's his curveball, but tonight he's certainly going with that change a lot. 20th pitch of the inning coming up. Three and two to Sardinius with Ionetta at second. And ball four. So an opportunity for O'Malley. He represents the go ahead run as we take a look at the sleep train calendar for your Mariners. Cleveland coming to town. Cleveland started the day a half game behind Kansas City in the Central. Then we'll take on these Rangers again. Got a good ball club, folks. Come on out. Then travel day after that Sunday game on the 12th. Go east to Tampa Bay, Boston, and Detroit. Quick visit from Doug Brokell, pitching coach. O'Malley hit the ball hard his first time up. Beltre was able to get a piece of it off the end of his glove and it went right to the shortstop Andrews who threw him out at first. Let me get him by about a half a step. A chance to drive in a run right here. Ionette at second, Sardinius at first. Pitch down and in. Ball one.
takes, and it's ball two. Next pitch will be 45 for Perez. 44 pitches, 25 strikes. Good chance here for O'Malley and the Mariners. Ball three. It would be great to get him on to get the Power Boys coming up. Goody, Cano, Cruz, Lee. That being said, I'm a little bit surprised that he threw him a 2 0 changeup. I agree. Look on Jeff Bannister's face. Makes it unanimous. There's a strike three and one. Pitch number 25 in the inning. Beltre gobbles it up. Touch up third. That'll do it. Mariners get a run on two hits. Leave a couple. And on the board, it's 3-1. Uh, traded to Chicago, James Shields. White Sox are going to pick him up, two minor league players, and the Padres are going to pay the bulk of his remaining salary. And Corey Seager, three bombs. The third one, he went opposite field last night. First Dodger rookie to do that. And the third brother, Justin, I'm told, also homered in his game last night. Double-A Jackson, I believe it was. Younger brother's trying to keep up with hey, Kyle. Man. You know how that goes. Elvis Andrews leads off. So the Currents can have a clean inning. Before we get any deeper into the ball game, we have to acknowledge the passing of the greatest, Muhammad Ali, at 74 years old yesterday. And boy, that's a piece of my uh, my generation and, and early life going right there. That was I had the pleasure of meeting him once. I was dumbfounded beyond belief. <laughs> he got a case of the Abadabas, but he leaned over the ring to say I hello. I understand. <laughs> yeah, but he was special. Obviously special. Got to see him fight live twice at the Garden against Ernie Shavers at Yankee Stadium against Ken Norton. It was the third Norton fight. And as an Ali fan, I will tell you, Ken Norton, God rest his soul as well, got robbed. The fight fans know he got <laughs> robbed. But that was Ali in New York with a big house at Yankee Stadium. He didn't have to, he wasn't going to outpoint him. Simple as that. But that is a huge loss to not only the sports community, but the entire world community has four pitch walk to Elvis Andrews. Carnes his first walk he struck out one. But no one will ever forget Muhammad Ali. 
Scott Service said he and his coaching staff were watching bits and pieces of a documentary that was on today. And I was watching some of that too. And Scott, along with uh, Jeff Bannister, and they're a little bit younger than I am, but they certainly saw a lot of Ali on TV. Never had a chance to meet him, but Jeff talked to him. He was he went about 10 minutes stalling Ali, and he talked about passion, conviction. I'm the greatest in the world. He said, that's what I try to tell my players, that their belief system has to be just like that. Jeff was preaching, man. He was rolling. <laughs> <laughs> he was fired up. He's a big Ali fan. Here's Brian Holiday, the catcher. Well, that's, a, that's a huge loss. Ali, for most, probably, maybe, this last, what, 35, 40 years, the most recognized face in the world. Flipping, just flipping through channels today, and there was something going about him on just about every one of them. You bet. Did he go? Check down the first. He did, says Jim Wolf. Randy Wolf's brother. Former left hander with the Mariners and multiple other teams. Puts in the chases, breaking ball, curveball off the plate. The cards way ahead here, 0 and 2. Holiday batting in the nine hole. Anderson on the move. And he's in standing at second. Another curveball, this one in the dirt. One of the things that Andrews does a lot of things well, but on the bases, he anticipates the ball in the dirt as well as anybody that we've seen. Good quick feet, great baseball instincts. 3-1 ball game as we play bottom of the second. Carnes trying to put away Brian Holiday, the Texas catcher. Two balls, two strikes. They call it the wild pitch, waiting for the official score. He just chimed in. Wild pitch. Andrews plus speed. He's at second. Cano trying to hold him on. Pitch. Ground ball foul. Final in 12 innings, Houston 6-5 over Oakland, over Houston. Say down in Houston from here in Dallas. Pitch in the dirt, trying to full count. It's a holiday hitting at 254, two homers, 12 runs batted in. Not as sharp as we've seen no, him recently. He's not. Had to work really hard in the first inning, and you wonder if there's an effect to that. He's at 34 pitches, 18 strikes. Took a lot off of that pitch. Cano going back. Randy's now one for four runners in scoring position. I don't blame Cano going back. He that may make that. We're used to it now, but he made that look really easy. I mean, a lot of, I mean, not, it wasn't a brutally difficult play. He Nonetheless. Knew it, he, knew, he knew by the second step that this is exactly what he was going to do. And you're right. We, we were so used to seeing him do it. We were talking to Jerry DePoto last week. He says, hey, he, he makes everything look easy. Come yeah, on. That's true. Top of the order, pro far. Swing the bat really well. They're going to send this kid down. So far, I mean, I don't, I don't see how so. you can. There's the home run that he hit in yesterday's ball game. Hit it into the upper deck. Talking to Eric Nadell, the Hall of Fame radio broadcaster for the Rangers, said they they don't want to have him sit here, so he's got to play. Jeff Benerson said about four days a week, so they can move him around. DH, second, third. Give Elvis a day off at, at shortstop. 
He hit a double his first time to start the game for the Rangers and that has pushed his batting average up to 382. Had multiple shoulder injuries. He was the number one prospect in all of baseball just a few years ago. Ionetta is earning it tonight. Carnes. He will throw a lot of curveballs and typically he's trying to keep him down in the zone to get you to chase it. They're in the early going, a lot of them in the dirt for Ionetta to block. No, it's got service. He's probably also talking, looked like he was talking about pacing. Runner goes, got a great jump, throw to third. Nice job by Seeger to keep it in front. And I think that ended up hitting Kyle in the shin. That hurts. Just trying to block it and keep it in front of him so the run doesn't score. This ball is thrown in the dirt by Ionetta. Off the heel of his glove. So a walk to Andrews, wild pitch and a stolen base, and he's on third with one out. You know, to hit him in the shin. Off of his glove into the shin. And now a 3-0 count here to Profar with Desmond, another hot hitter on deck. And a walk, second of the inning. Trouble brewing. Taiwan Walker had four walks, two of them ended up scoring. That's a bad recipe, as you noted earlier, it, anywhere, but particularly here in this ballpark. Right. 40th pitch coming up. Here's Taiwan. Last night, five innings, nine hits, six runs all earned. Talking to James Paxton. They didn't have a good outing the other day either. It's been a tough go for the starters. The last eight games and 8 3 1 ERA for the Mariners. Runners at the corners for Desmond. Dropped out a bunt. There's time and taken off his profile. He's in standing up. That's his scouting report. It hits the dirt. Take off. Wild pitch, second one. His last three days for the starters, Jeff Paxton went three and two thirds. Miley went four and two thirds, and then Taiwan five innings last night. So the bullpen has had to work a lot. Typically, when that's as far as you're going, you're usually behind in those ball games, and that's exactly what happened with the Mariners. Edwin Diaz just called up hard throwing right-hander. Thanks to from Puerto Rico. Grew up with Carlos Correa of Houston and the Twins Jose Burrios. Mariners have their infield in. Desmond swinging a hot bat. Advantage here 2 0. There's a strike 2 and 1. Forty two pitches, only twenty strikes. One out, runners at second and third, drawn in infield. Pitch to Desmond. Line drive, left field, base hit. Stop sign put up for Profar. And then you got Desmond caught between first and second. Runner breaks home. Here's a throw to the plate. And got him. There was a scramble at the plate. And Ionetta stayed with it and beat Profar. Take a look at it. Cano keeping an eye on it. Gets rid of it quickly. And then Chris missed and Profar missed the plate. Well, that's and why then Chris went back and beat him. There you go. Cut off that right hand. Yeah. Take another look at it. 
Chris doing the right thing. You have to give him the back part of the plate to slide to. Chris wasn't sure if he was able to get him right there, but then he tags him on the right hand as he tries to get the left hand in there, and he's blocking that hand, too. <laughs> That's pretty good work yes. by Ayanetta. Right, you are. Yeah. Man, man. Bannister wants him to take a look at it. And Desmond already two hits in this game after getting four hits last night. Also pick up an RBI. He is paying off now after the rough start when we saw him in the first two series here and back home in Seattle. This worked by Ionet at the plate. I think this is going to come out in Aaron's favor here. Daoli getting rid of the ball early. You want to run the runner back to the base that he started from. And a good play by Cano to keep an eye on the runner. His right hand clearly didn't get anywhere near the plate. Right. And as he tried to put his left hand in there, it looks as if Chris is able to block it with his left hand right there. Yeah, worked out well yeah. for him. Uh, you see Eric Cooper, the home plate umpire, right on top of the play, he makes the call right away. You know, the left hand was a proactive move. It was a reflexive uh, move with the right hand, and it worked out well for exactly. him. Exactly. You can't blame Bannister for having to check. Desmond, two for two, picks up an RBI, is 34th. He's second to Beltre in that category for the Ranger Ball Club. Both knew they missed. Boy, good aim. But Chris had his eyes up and he direct he knew what hand he was going for and he, yep. he beat him. That's a very solid play. Well done. A veteran catcher. And I wonder if if on the initial part of the play, if, if Chris wasn't quite sure if he touched him good or point. not. And that's good the point. reason why he stayed with the play. Sure. And the thing that I like about it is he, he basically was going off the reaction of Profar. More than anything, he, he didn't look at the umpire to see if there was any call that was made. He just stayed with the play, and that was the difference in that one. Profar told him the fact that he was coming exactly. back. Exactly. If he had sold it, just walked off. Yeah. yeah you never know. But then Chris Scott wasn't Service, taking any chances. Right. And I don't blame him. And if Profar tried to sell it like I got it, I'm going into the dugout. And then Scott Service, what a challenge! And indeed, he is out. Nice play. Bring up Nomar Mazzara. 7 5 3 4 2. Put out. Mazzara with the sacrifice fly in the first inning to pick up an RBI. Minute 43 in that replay review. Desmond, good speed. He's at second, two outs. Inning started with a walk, a pop up to Holiday, another walk, and then the base hit Esmond scored a run, and then they get Profar in the rundown. Nathan now at 45 pitches, just 21 strikes. Behind here, 2 0. Oh. He gets 3 0. Oh. Beltre's on deck. Third three ball count this inning. We're in one. The 
It's Ian Desmond out at second. Outfield pretty much straight away here for Mazzara. 3 1 pitch. Ball four. Third walk of the inning. Runners at first and second for their RDI leader, Adrian Beltre. Coming up tomorrow, Century Lane tells you who's starting. It'll be if Sashi Iwakuma on a nice little run. He's won his last three games. Derek Holland told that Holland's uh, command has not been what we've, we've been used to over the years. And adores his fastball. It's lost some uh, velo there. Well, you can see his ERA at a 478. He has struggled this year, just 27 strikeouts in 52 and two thirds. Hopefully the Mariners can take advantage of that. Now Stottlemyre, a couple nights in a row, had to take the clock all the way down. Played umpire Eric Cooper breaking up the meeting. And nobody throwing in the Mariners pen. It's all you, son. I see 24 pitches in this inning, just seven strikes for Carnes. Three walks, one of them has already scored. Home run and RBI leader for the Rangers, Adrian Beltre. Two outs, first and second. During batting practice, the Rangers were having, I kept hearing this ping. I said, what is this, a World War II movie with a sonar sound? And it was Beltre pitching to his kid out in the outfield. And <laughs> little Adrian swings just like big Adrian. He's hitting ball into the seats. Kid can't be more than about seven or eight years old. Those metal bats. And again, another hitter's count. Yep, 2 0. Oh. Nathan now at 50 pitches. Mm, early in the second inning. And only 22 strikes. Desmond and Mazzara, fast runners on base. Three and oh. It's four three ball count this inning. Three oh to Beltre. Ooh, almost hitting ball four bases number. He has completely lost it. That wasn't even close in the three oh count. My goodness. Talk about coming apart at the seams at home. Tough go here for Nathan Carnes. It's game one for girls tonight at Safe Go Field next Thursday, 7 10 start time for only 35 bucks. Ladies can pick up a main or terrorist club seat in the first drink. It's all part of EQC Girls Night Out. Special offers available only at Mariners.com slash girls. Well, he can't rope a dope his way out of this thing. Base is loaded. Four walks all this inning. Lador with a base hit, his first time up. Dumped it in the left field, little fly ball. There's a strike. Odor, base hit to left, and a run scored. First time up. Desmond at third. He drove in a run with a base hit to left. Pitch to Odor. Foul. Out in front of a changeup. Mariners have the shift on with Odor hitting. And nobody throwing in the pen for the Mariners. It's pitch number 30, and as an old director once said, flood it and swim out. Huge swing and a miss. Big, big, big strikeout. Gives up just one run. Strands three. 4 1 Rangers.
But, okay, Ed. Well, where we root is right here. Mariners broadcast with Gutierrez leading off. Goody, Cano, Cruz, 2 3 4 against Perez. Ground ball, Elvis Andrews, nice play. One down. Goody for two, struck out first time. Thought maybe he had a base hit up the middle, but a fine play by Andrews. Talked a lot about some of the struggles that Nathan has had, but Perez really hasn't been particularly sharp tonight either. His next pitch will be 50 for him. So hopefully the Mariners can get to him. Cano with a base hit his first time up. Seven pitch at bat. Base hit to right. Now reads base safely in 33 consecutive games. Personal best. Longest streak in the bigs. Two and oh on deck is Nelson Cruz. Odor out in short right field for Robbie. Cano now three for ten against Perez. What do you think he's sitting on here? Two and one. I thought it was interesting that he was taking the 2 0 pitch all the way. It was a fastball, middle in, 91 miles an hour. There's a slider. Two and two. Cano with 19 home runs against the Rangers, 10 of them here. Full count. Three two pitch to Cano. Pretty foul. Seventh pitch again. Perez is third. Full count. He's walked just one. Three two pitch. Ground ball to Elvis Andrews. Throws out Cano. And there's two away. Right into the shift. Time now for a Geico this date in MLB history. Take you back to 01. Brett Boone, four of his four hits, seven RBIs, and an 11-6 win over Texas. Four hits, ties a career best, seven ribbies. Career best. Brett Boone, Boone on a couple of times. Anaheim and then back in Seattle in the last uh, first what, first month of change in this season. I think that was here in this ballpark against the Rangers too. It's Nelson Cruz. He looks at strike one popped out to Odor to end the first inning. Mariners got their run in the second inning a sacrifice fly by Stefan Romero. Hit well, center field, crushed and gone. Boom, stick baby, Nelson Cruz with his 12th home run, RBI number 37. Got it on an 0-1 pitch. Told you you can feel some home runs coming. He is now four for six with two home runs against Perez. Line drive, and a lot of outs on that one. Yeah, and with two outs, it's good to see. Home run, pick up a run with two outs. That is a missile to dead center field. 404 landed over the cameras out there. Reduced Desmond to a spectator. Well, the youngster got a ball. They all lead. Yeah, he had a base hit. 0 2 count had a base hit back up the middle. One to one. Yeah. 
For the string one and two. Kyle Seeger on deck. Hit the other way. But Odor is right there. Throws him out. Cruz's home run, his 12th, his 37th RBI, highlights the Mariners' third, the 4-2 Ranger lead. A reminder, stick around after the game for Mariners Post Game presented by Delta Airlines. Angie Mensing, Dave Valley have all the highlights and background information and interviews coming your way right after this ball game. Scott Service, 49th birthday today. He's watching his right-hander, number five man in the rotation, struggle with four walks in the second inning. But the game's still manageable well, at four to two. That's one of the things. That was a big home run by Nelson Cruz because even though Nathan has struggled through the first two innings, he's in this ball game. It's a four-two game. So see if he can be a little more efficient with his pitch count, pound the strike zone a little bit more. Ryan Rua get, leading off. You know, try to get through five or six and give your, your club a chance to get back in the ball game. His, his team has been scoring a lot of runs. Two run double for Rua, first time up. There it is, number two in runs scored behind Boston in the American League. Texas is number three. We're talking about runs scored riding over here, and Gary Hill is filling in for. Aaron Goldsmith on the radio side pointed out that the Cubs starting today were something like one plus 142. I mean, it was just insane. And the Cubs won again today, 5 3 over Arizona. They've been unreal. I mean, right out of the gate, too. We'll see them later. They were on in the summer. 2 2. Dejo's got it. One away. Gonna bring up Mitch Moreland. Follow Mariner Baseball live at the MLB.com at bat app. Stay up to the moment with game day live, game video highlights, stat cast, news, and more. Download MLB.com at bat, the number one app for live baseball on your phone or tablet. We put it to use every night. Showed the calendar a little bit earlier in the ball game, and have Cleveland coming to town for a four-game series, and they are beating the Royals again. They are scoring runs. They've really been playing well, so that 
It'll be an interesting start to the homestand, having them come in with for four. Good, good news. Starting pitching. Yeah, and the good news for the Mariners, Marte will be back in the lineup on Monday. Marlon fouls one off. Mitch struck out his first time. Looks like things are going well with Martin, so hopefully shortly after that you'll get him back and then get Felix back in the rotation. Get your team back together. Felix eligible to come off the DL on June 12. As you mentioned Cleveland. Mariners win Cleveland. Mid-April took two out of three. Kansas City in Cleveland there in the bottom of the eighth inning Cleveland up seven to one. Took a little off. Swing and a miss by Moreland tagged by Ionetta two down for Carnes his third strikeout. Not better so far this start here in the third inning. Ends up getting him on the change up. We noticed it with Moreland last night. He, he is really struggling and just not seeing the ball at all. Some bad swings from him. Good player having a tough time. Here's Elvis Andrews. Elvis walked and scored a run in the second inning. Check down the first base did not go, says Jim Wall. We're mentioning the Cubs with their win today, plus 142 in their run differential. My goodness. 2 1 pitch. Good looking breaking ball. Pitch number 70 coming up. Two outs, nobody on here in the third. Three runs in the first, one in the second for Texas. Harris got a run in the second, run in the third. And then another three ball count for Nathan. Next pitch will be 70 in the ballgame. 70. Working here in the third. Brian Holiday on deck. 3 2. Breaking ball. Pass to diving Seeger. Elvis can run, and he's going to get a double. Base hit was on the curveball. 3 2. Curveball in the middle of the plate. This Cabaret telecast is presented by 30 of the Seattle Mariners and may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. And the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of the Seattle Mariners. Third extra base hit for the Rangers, all doubles. Profar, Rua, now Andrews. Holiday popped up to Cano. It's like he's aiming that pitch. I thought that last pitch was a strike. He just didn't get the call. Eric Cooper's not giving either pitcher many pitches at the bottom of the strike zone. One to one. Another American League game Yankees lead at Baltimore eight six bottom nine in Baltimore. Oh. 
Pittsburgh beat the Angels 8-7, Houston 6-5 and 12 over Oakland. Tampa Bay won at Minnesota 7-4, Detroit beat the White Sox 7-4. Toronto lost at Boston 6-4. Stung in the left field. Andrews round third, scores easily. And a base hit for Brian Holiday in an RBI. Texas 5-2. Another pitch up in the zone. Yeah, two quick outs, he gives up a double in an RBI single. Take a look at it, fastball, inner half of the plate. Bell tie. Sardine is trying to keep it on the infield, not able to get to it. And it looks as if Nathan Carnes, if he has 100 pitches in that arm today, Scott Service is going to get all of it. Bullpen's had to work a lot. This is hit well center field, going back O'Malley, twisting and turning just shy of the track. Makes the catch. Another run on the board for the Rangers. We go to the fourth inning. 5-2, Texas. Here in Root Sports is brought to you by Safeco Insurance. Find a local agent at Safeco.com. By BNSF Railway, sponsor of the BNSF Blast. And by Frontier Communications, providers of next generation Fios TV and Internet. I used to go to the zoo as a kid, I used to love getting those balloon <laughs> swords and whatnot. Those are the days when Zorro was a hot TV show. That's how long ago that was, but that's another story. Dave Sims, Mike Flowers, and Root Sports crew here in Arlington. Mariners on a short end right now, 5-2. Kyle Seeger leads off. He'll be followed by Chris Iannetta and Stefan Romero. Kyle reached on a fielder's choice and scored a run. Check down to third Gary Cedarstrom said he did not go. Short stop Andrews playing up the middle against Kyle takes a big rip one and two. Fly ball left field towards the line coming over Rua. He's got room, makes the catch and foul territory. One out. Let's take a look at our Delta Airlines. Keep climbing standings. 
And they have the Mariners a game out behind the Rangers. Houston a winner. The Angels a loser today. Athletics pulling up the rear. It was the Astros beating Oakland today. Angels lost at Pittsburgh. Ionetta back up the middle, past the diving Odor, base hit. Second base hit of the game for Chris Ionetta. Had a double his first time up. That ball hard oh, back up the middle. See how quickly it was able mm -hmm. to get through the infield. Well, you could have the greatest first step in the world, and it's pretty much rendered so useless fast. here. Yep. Infield is really fast. Stephen Romero sacrifice flying an RBI. See if he can get into one. It was a big part of that seventh inning comeback a couple of nights ago in San Diego. That was a thrill. Calling that, that, that inning, was, that game. That was a lot of fun to watch. Man, oh man. He turned around a 97 mile an hour fastball for a base hit yes, and an sir. RBI. He did. Well, he has a good count. 2 and 0, delivered a sack fly. First time up. Luis Sardinus is on deck. This will be pitch number 70 coming up. Reno. There's Sardinus who's on deck. Romero's got four big league home runs under his belt limited time. Three and one. Stefan hit one home run last year. He hit three back in 2014. Three one pitch. Full count. The Mariners right handed group in action tonight. Cootie. Along with Romero. Sardinius is switch hitter. All the lefties on the bench. Aoki, a lot of lefties on the bench. Aoki, Clevenger, Lind, and Smith. Three and two. That ball's hit pretty deep, right center field. And it's run down by Mazzara. Ionetta's got to scoot back to first. He's in standing. Two outs. Two away, a runner at first, and a question, are you the ultimate Northwest fan in the state of Alaska? The Root Sports is looking for you. Throughout the month of June, all you have to do is submit a photo and a story on our website at rootsports.com slash ultimate-fan, and you can win a VIP trip for two to Seattle in September, personalized jersey and more. So get on it. It's presented by Country Financial. For official rules, go to rootsports.com. We Sardinius walked. His first at bat. He's a good at bat for him. He was behind one and two in the count. Worked a walk. And point Perez had thrown him four changeups in a row. Missed with that last fastball at 94. One oh pitch to Luis. Takes a strike. Eight first pitch strikes, eight out of 18 for Perez. Two balls, one strike. Perez is not as sharp as he'd like to be. No. Both starters having to throw a lot of pitches. 
Fouled off. Two and two. Sardinius, really nice spring training. This will be his 22nd game. Played multiple positions. Had him in the outfield. Played him all around the infield as well. Two and two. Will count again for Luis. Got his first homer of the season. It was here in that first trip. To open up the season. He was hitting right handed and hit it deep into the bleachers in left field. 3 2 pitch. Back up the middle, base hit. So Ionetta will hold at second base and get it back to the top of the order. Sean O'Malley, who's 0 for 2. Well done by Luis Sardinius. Too good at bats for him. Right back up in the middle on a fastball. Almost hit him in the leg. Well, now he's hit the ball hard twice, but hasn't been able to pick up a base hit yet. Make sure you enjoy great Maryland baseball and a great deal when you head to Safeco Field Tuesday at 7:10. Tribe will be in town. First 11,500 fans are going to receive a voucher good for up to half off two tickets on Alaska Airlines. Some restrictions apply. Log on to Mariners.com slash Alaska Air for details. Pitch number 80 here. See if Sean O'Malley can do some damage with it. Breaking ball for strike one. Not many opportunities for the Mariners hitting with runners in scoring position. Just 0 for 1 tonight. Cruz with a home run. Romero with a sack fly. Get down, get down, it does. Here's Ionetta getting a wave on the throw from Desmond. Cut off. RBI single Sean O'Malley. Mariners pecking away. It's 5 3. RBI for Sean, his second. He deserved that base hit. Right. Hit the ball hard a couple of times. It was 0 for 2. Fastball borderline down just slices a line drive back up the middle. Marin RBIs O'Malley Cruz and Romero. Doug Brocale making another trip out to the mound. And he used his entire 30 seconds. Valley tackle Casey Candell on the right. First base coach. Back to back singles to center with two outs. Produces a run here for the Mariners. Goody represents a go ahead run. Tonight he struck out, and grounded out to short. Ball one. Got some action in the Texas pen. Pitch to Goody. Takes. Ball two. Perez has lost some feel now. Cesar Ramos. It's heating up in their pull. Uh, the bullpen. Two zero. I didn't ride, but it's right at Desmond. Smoked it. Right to the center field. The Mariners get a run on three hits. No errors. Leave two. It's five three Texas.
Santa Mariners baseball here in Root Sports being brought to you by Shag, where your friends live, and by Steel. To find your local steel dealer, visit steeldealer.com. If you so desire, bacon wrapped hot dogs. Cardiologist <laughs> on speed dial. Plenty of eats here at this ballpark, that is for sure. They get the boomstick, it's still selling for about $26. In Desmond. He's been tough tonight. Dropped down a perfect bunt right in front of the plate. Miscommunication between Ionetta and Carnes, and then a hard base hit in RBI, second inning. Dal Nuno heating up for the Mariners. Ooh. Nathan and the Mariners, they, they can use a clean inning right here. The Mariners trying to climb back into this ball game. Well, it's tough one last inning. He goes one, gets the first two guys out, then a double and an RBI single. Almost had a clean inning. Three runs, four hits for the Rangers in the first inning. A run on a hit in the second. A run on two hits in the third. Here's for Dow. One two pitch. And Desmond swings through, finally retiring. One out. It's a fourth strikeout for Carnes. Strikes out with a good fastball, 93 miles an hour, a little bit of run to it, right at the top of the strike zone. Tough pitch to catch up to. A good one two pitch. Brings up Mazzara. Sacrifice fly and a walk. Playing Mazzara straight up. Pitch outside. One on one. Carnes 11 for 21 in first pitch strikes. Seeger has it in his sights for a territory, two outs. Sound Transit's new Link Light Rail Station. They are up and running at Capitol Hill and at the UW. Now that deserves a foam fingered high five. So plan your trip at soundtransit.org. There we go. Make it a nice photo essay for that youngster. And you're on TV, my man. Back home, family and friends in Seattle. Help trade ducks out of a breaking ball. Fly to center and walked. The 0-1. 1-1, Adrian. It's two for six against Carnes, who faced off against the Rangers last August 14th as a member of the Rays, got a no decision in four and two-thirds innings. And Nathan now at 86 pitches. Scott Service would love for him to retire Beltray so he can get another inning out of him. Nuno continues to get loose in the pen for the Mariners. Breaking ball and a beauty, swing and a miss, and a first clean inning for Nathan Carnes. A one, two, three, fourth. Needed 11 pitches to make it happen, and this was a key strikeout to retire Beltre. 5 3 Rangers.
to the top of the fifth. To make sure you, sure you tune in every Sunday. New episode of Mariners All Access. Get exclusive player interviews, behind the scenes footage, and Mariners stories you can't find anywhere else. If you missed tomorrow's episode, tune in for re airs throughout the week on Root Sports for local programming. Visit RootSports.com. How about some runs here? Cano, Cruz, Lee, three, four, five here in the fifth, down by two. Well, the Mariners have been building a fence of run in the second, a run in the third, a run in the fourth. Dave wants to see some cricket numbers on the board. I know it. Robbie tonight. Base hit to right field in the first and the ground out to short in the third. Well, Doris playing him, the second baseman, short right field. Door to his right, goes across and gets Cano. It'll bring up Nelson Cruz and mentioned back in the third as we take a look at our Jimmy John's delivery of the game. He puts an ouch on this one. Yes, screaming line drive. Right over the cameras, dead center field. It's 404. Right where he hit it. Good launching. One real high, was it? No, it wasn't. <laughs> Exit velocity must have been pretty good, though. 427 on the distance carry. Two and oh. That was surprised by that Eric Cooper call. It was well in off the plate. Really wasn't even close. Hmm. Don't blame him. A little bit late. One and two. RBIs tonight for the Mariners O'Malley, Cruz, and Romero. Just below the zone. Two and two. Nuno has sat down in the Mariners' pen. Ramos continues to throw in the Rangers' bullpen. Two two to Nelly. Gets through that fast into the nice play by Elvis Andrews. Throw him out. Nice stretch by Moreland at the back end. Two down. Good shortstop. Yeah, pretty good range. An accurate throw. And then catching it in the heel of his glove. So many times when you see that, the ball will end up on the ground, but he was able to hold on to it. Dale Lee, line drive, base hit. First pitch swinging. Dale, second hit tonight, two for three. Here come the Mariners with two outs. I'm going to bring up Kyle Seeger. Kyle started this game good numbers against Perez. 455 batting average with three home runs. And that base hit day holy is now at 322. Tip of the cap. And again, you got to keep reminding yourself, he's new to the major leagues and he's learning, he's seeing these guys for the first time, but he's, you know, he's no rookie. I mean, he's got plenty of experience, but, you know, changing culture, changing leagues, changing country, language, the whole thing. Good for him. I think, I think that's been impressive as one, the power, of course, with eight home runs, but he uses the entire field. Right to Moreland, room service. Runner stranded in the fifth. 5 3 Rangers.
Rangers middle game three game set battle for first place in the West to say thanks to those in the U.S. military for their service the Mariners and EQC are offering a special ticket offer whether a former or a current member of the armed forces you're going to receive 10 percent off select seats when you show your military ID at the safe gold field box office. Here we go with Rugnet Odor leading off home fifth against Nathan Carnes. Nathan had a fine fourth inning. A one, two, three, fourth, his first clean inning. Two strikeouts. And Al Nuno has resumed tossing out in the Mariner pen. Odor, one for two. Mariners have the shift on with Odor hitting. Next pitch will be 90 for Nathan. Odor back from a seven game suspension. With a right hand heard around Major League Baseball when he decked Jose Bautista a couple of weeks ago. Nathan's high for his pitch count is 105. And this will be his last inning. Three and one. Odor, Rua, and Moreland, five, six, and seven in the order for the Texas Rangers. Another walk. The fifth. Wrap up the series, wrap up the second visit to the Rangers with Asashi Iwakuma trying to get above 500. He'll be opposed by Derek Holland, who's got a hefty ERA. Kuma's been in the process of knocking his down, looking for his fourth consecutive win. Scott Service. You mentioned you I think you put it right. He's got a hundred pitches in that arm. Use them all. You get to a point and we showed the numbers of this last three games for the starters and Taiwan Walker the only one that was able to pitch at least five. So your bullpen's throwing a lot and sometimes Nathan probably aware of it too. Go get him. This is your day. Through the whole base hit. Ryan Rua. Two hits tonight. Two runs batted in. He's two for three. And the Rangers now threaten here in the home fifth. And it's got service. Out of the dugout. I've seen enough. 93 pitches. He has Four seen plus. Enough. Boy. And it's been tough. Last eight games for the starters, two and four record in 8 3 1 ERA, one quality start. It has not been pretty. And it got a little bit worse tonight. Change without Nuno taking over, and right now, 
We'd like to welcome KPU subscribers from Ketchikan, Alaska. Thank you for rooting on your Seattle Mariners. All of us at Root Sports and the Mariners appreciate your support. Well, for Nathan Carnes, tough night, just did not have command. Four innings, eight hits, five runs, all of them earned. He's responsible for the two base runners. Five walks, five strikeouts, 93 pitches, 48 of those for strikes. Bit of a tough run for the Mariners starting rotation. Nuno going to take over 20 appearances on the year ERA just over one 21 strikeouts only one walk on the year and 17 and two thirds opponents hitting 203. It's Moreland the hitter it struck out twice. Runners break pitch up the middle base hit center field. Odor scores going to third is Rua. 6 three Rangers. RBI for Moreland his 22nd. And the Rangers came into the game hitting 296 runners in scoring position. They are four for eight, so that average is going up. But the runners on the move, like Sardinius was going to cover the bag. And Moreland hit it right where he was standing. There's nothing that Sardinius can do about it. He has to be able to cover. He even tried to wait as long as he could. The runners at, at the corners. A run in. Elvis Andrews. Walk, run, scored, double, run, scored. Some good numbers there for the Texas Bowl Club. Two no. Foul ball. Five walks for Nathan tonight. Two of them have scored. Nobody out, runners at the corners. That is a bundle of trouble in the form of a three run homer by Elvis Andrews on a 2 1 pitch. Elvis, second home run, takes the RBI total to 21. Two yeah. for two, three runs scored, three runs knocked in. Yeah. The Rangers six for nine runners in scoring position. Only the second home run of the year that Nuno has given up. Fastball on the inside corner. Got all of it. We can close the book on Nathan Carnes. Four plus innings, seven runs, all of them earned. Foul back by Brian Holiday. And to compound things for Nathan, he's from this area, so. Yeah, I'm sure he's disappointed. Very much so. Foul off. It takes. Not the happy birthday present Scott Service was looking for. Carnes' ERA went from 3-4-3 to 4-2-3. Well, we've shown the numbers over the last 11, now 12 starts for the Mariners. And even with the struggles they've had, they came into the game today, I believe, as a starting staff. They were fifth in ERA in the American League. So they're a capable group, and they'll get it turned around. Scott would just like to see it happen sooner than later. Holiday last time up RBS single to left prior to that he popped out to Cano. That's a foul ball. So a nine three. 
Ranger lead as we play here in the fifth. Seeger's got this on a friendly hop. Get back to the top of the order. Jerkson Profar, one down here in the fifth. Profar, double in the run, scored in the first, walked in the second, and flying out the center in the third. His fourth plate appearance. A lot of damage done by the bottom half of the Texas order. That will get fouled. But two, three, five, six of the runs batted in have come from the six, seven, eight, nine spots. The other two runs, Mazzaro batting third, and Desmond knocked in a run. He's batting in a two hole. There you have it. There's all the damage down below. Four extra base hits tonight for the Rangers. They had five last night. And we're playing in the fifth here. Jeff Bannister, manager of the year in the American League last season. Nathan Carnes down in the dumps. Three and two. Pretty impressed by the way this kid's swinging the bat. He's aggressive, I'll say that. He's not getting cheated on his swings from either side of the plate. Three and two. Goes the other way. Second hit tonight for Profar. Gonna bring up Ian Desmond. Hit totals keep mounting. Hey, make your voice heard. Nominate your favorite plays of the week by tweeting us using the hashtag root fan fave. Watch the Mariners pregame show every Sunday. Find out the top five fan favorite plays of the week. Plus, each month, one lucky fan will win a Coors Light Refresherator just for participating. Official rules. Visit rootsports.com. Desmond, two for three. Laid down a bunt. Base hit and an RBI in the second. Struck out in the fourth. Seventh man to the plate here in the fifth inning. Still only one out. Inning started with Odor walking. Rua, base hit to left. On the hit and run, RBI single Mitch Moreland. Elvis Andrews, a three run homer. Double play ball would do Nuno good right here. And it will come. Got a pitch up in his own, and Desmond's not missing much lately. It's a three hit night for him. The lineup isn't. A lot of pitches up in the zone tonight, and they're not missing any of them. The guys are not just between cars. You see Mel Stottlemyre making another trip out to the mound. Nuno, anything that's up, this one is up out of the strike zone. They're squaring up. So they're not getting away with anything. Held down Mazzara and Beltre. Those two have combined for 0 for 3. The rest of the lineup 12 for 18. And Mazzara right now will be the eighth man to the plate here in the fifth. Mazzara with a sack fly in the first, walk in the second, pop to 
Seeger in the third, in the fourth inning. Nine, three lead. Banged out 12 hits. O'Malley getting the start in center field, makes the play there. Two away, and that'll bring up Beltre with two on. Beltre, the ninth hitter for the Rangers in the inning. Other games in action as we speak over in the National League. The Dodgers and Clayton Kershaw lead in L.A. against Atlanta, 1-0 in the fourth. Strike one. Top of the fourth in San Diego. Padres 4-3 over Colorado. Those are the only other games still in progress. The 0-1. Belcher's got a 1-1 count. Adrian tonight fly to center, walking a strikeout. Well, the dive, Seeger, and they get the force. That ends the inning, and it was not a good one. As Texas puts up four on the board, expanding the lead to 9-3. All right, Angie, thank you. Some work to do for the boys here in the sixth, down 9 3 for Sionetta leading off. Chris having a good night. He's two for two, has a double. He's also scored a run. My ball right field coming towards the line, Mazzara. He's there. <laughs> Stefan Romero's turn. He'll be followed by Luis Sardinius. Texas jumped on the Mariners at the get go three runs in the first Mariners came back with a run in the second inning a sack fly by Romero. Texas added another run in the fourth. Cruz homered in the third and third. We, we state that Mariners come back with a run in the second and the third. Cruz with a home run in the third in the fourth inning they had another run but boy what a big big frame thanks to that man right there Elvis Andrews three run shot fifth inning and it's a nine three lead so far the story for me in the last two games has been the first inning Rangers scored three runs in last night's game back to three runs today and in this ballpark pretty good offensive club you would expect for them to add on to it which puts a lot of pressure on your own offense.
on well, two strikes. So hopefully Iwakuma can settle in quickly in tomorrow's game. One two to Romero sacrifice fly and fly to right. There you go. That will get down. One out base runner for the Mariners here in the sixth. Saturday June 11th K Beach Towel Night. Mariners will be hosting these Rangers 710 start time. This giveaway looks just like the Kings Court K card. It's free to the first 15,000 fans to so stop by a Mariners team store or go online to Mariners.com for tickets. Cesar Ramos up for the third time in the Texas pen. Well, you can see right there the first the second and the fourth inning having to throw a lot of pitches. He's already at 100 total. Not fouled by Sardinas. One for one with a walk tonight. Two to Luis. Texas nine runs, 12 hits, no errors. They've left seven. Three runs, nine hits, no errors. Six men stranded by the Mariners. Martin Perez, pitch number 104 coming up. Romero, the runner at first with one out. Double play depth up the middle. Sky to medium right field. Center field. Catch made by Mazzara. Two away. Brings up Sean O'Malley. RBI single in the fourth. It's one for three. Well, Sean's had a good night. He's hit the ball hard all three times. Just the one hit. O'Malley getting his first start. First time leading off and a second start in center field. Looks at ball one. Jack knife out of the way. It's called a strike by Eric Cooper. One on one. Ball and two strikes. One two from Perez. Anderson scoop to Odor. They get the force. Mariners are gone in the sixth. Game two, three game set, nine three, Texas.
Jay's Scott Service, the skipper, having some nice things to say about his third baseman. Makes a nice play right here to end the last inning. Very consistent, and I think he's the one thing. I actually pulled him aside a couple weeks ago, and I called him in my office, and he goes, "What's up?" I said, "You don't get enough pats on the back." You know, I think the guys who do things the right way show up to play every day, get his work in every day, good teammate. You know, we don't don't appreciate those guys enough. It's usually the squeaky wheel that gets the oil, and uh, so he kind of joked about it and laughed at me. But I do appreciate him, and his teammates do as well. As do we all as Rudnet Odor gets the Rangers sixth off to a rousing start splitting Romero and O'Malley for a double his second hit tonight he's already scored twice. Scott is he's on top of it isn't he. Mm -hmm. Very because, he because he's right I, you know being around this game for basically my entire life he's absolutely right about that the guys that show up every day play hard are productive do the things the right way. It's easy to take them for granted. Good for him for calling him in. Nothing wrong with that, boys. No. Ryan Rua. Fine night for him. Driven in two is two for three. Rangers last inning, nine minutes of the plate, four runs on five hits, and they left two. Down Nuno on in relief. Nathan Carnes Cano will get it out. Odor to third. We talked about it in the open that it has been an unsavory starting situation here for the Mariners, and it didn't get any better today. You see James Paxton gives up six runs on five hits, and it was Miley's turn. Four runs, three runs from Taiwan. And then Nathan Carnes today. Mitch Moreland on a hit and run, single to center, drove in a run. Drawn in infield, three defenders on the right side for Moreland, who struck out his first two times up. It's one of the few times where I've seen this where they have the shift on and the infield in. There's a look at it. Trying to cut the runner down at the plate, so they're bringing everybody in. But Sardine is the shortstop on the right side with Cano and Lee. Looks like one of those extra inning formations. Oh, yeah, when they bring in the extra outfield right. or the outfield play infield. Yeah. Yeah. The runner hung up. Nuno doing the right thing. They got Odor. Tag him out. And continuing on to second is Moreland. Well, a nice job by Nuno. Fielder's choice one two the put out to retire. Odor for out number two. Moving on to second is Moreland. And Odor going on contact and he was able to stay in the rundown long enough for Moreland to get into scoring position. Andrews has been murdered tonight. Three run homer at a double. He's also walked. He scored three times and knocked in three. Also has a stolen base. All of this doing all his damage batting eighth. Gets into one here, left field, driving back Romero on the track. He's got it measured. He makes the catch. Boy, helps. Got into him tonight. Rangers turned away in the sixth. They lead 9-3.
is brought to you by Money Tree. Proud to make a donation to Mariners Care for every Mariners win. By CenturyLink, your link to what's next. And by Jack in a Box. It's back, the Portobello Mushroom Buttery Jack. Taste it before it's gone at Jack in a Box. There's the boomstick, $26 worth. Have at it. Don't have to eat again till next Thursday. Boy, they, that need better... put, they need to put that thing on a skateboard so you can get it back to your seat. <laughs> That's a great line. Good for, call. For, for Perez, <laughs> six innings, nine hits, three runs. They were earned. One walk, one strikeout. He threw 108 pitches, 71 strikes. Can I be your booking agent? <laughs> Here's Ramos. Says that Ramos is going to take over. Franklin Gutierrez 0 for 3. Last time up, hit the ball hard, but it was a line drive right at Desmond in center field. Didn't have to move. Or Ramos on the air, a one and two record, three and a half ERA, 16 strikeouts, 10 walks. Opponents hitting 296, and he's given up five home runs. So he had some struggles this year. That's him, Bel Beltre ate him up. Goody's aboard. He's going to dig for two. This is going to be close. He beat it. Well, a few times you'll see that. This were down in the back practice field. Beltre would be slamming his glove down on the ground. Yeah. So he's doing it. He's with the Mariners. Second hop. This is down the line on a second hop. A lot of top spin on it. Not able to make the play. Do I took a turn on him? Be a double for Gutierrez. Looks up Cano, one for three. Reach base in 33 consecutive ball games. Odor moves out to short right field. And Goody, that's his fourth two bagger of the season. Well hit right field. Going back Mazzara. And he's going to make the catch. I think jumped off the bat tagging his Goody. And he's in the third. Congratulations to Gunnar Buhner. He won the Golden Glove Award in the NAI World Series last night. Second baseman for Lewis and Clark State Warriors. Won their 18th championship to beat Faulkner out of Alabama 12 11 well, congratulations to the team and to Gunner good stuff congratulations sir Jay very proud of that Mr. Cruz one for three One hit, his 12th home run of the year. Hit it dead center field. 109 miles per hour, 26 degree launch angle. I thought it was less than that. One to one. How many home runs you hit here? Because this was made no for idea. your swing. I, 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 everybody loves hitting here. We've talked about it enough. When you are in a ballpark where, one, it's warm, the ball will fly, especially out towards right center, and the infield is super fast, as is the outfield, you'll take your chances. Great, ball, one to Cruz. great ballpark to hit in. They're going to build a new one, I'm told. Land out beyond right field. Hope to have it ready by 2020, if not sooner. Two and two to the former Ranger.
to two. Stayed with it. Andrus throws across. Run scores. That's now 9-4 Texas. RBI for Cruz his second tonight. 38 on the season. And Steve Johnson getting loose in the pen. He's throwing the ball well for the Mariners. A good job. Deho Lee. He has a couple of hits tonight. Two for three. A couple of singles. Dale to right field. And catch made by Mazar. First pick up a run to make it a 9 4 ball game here in Ireland. Elvis Andrews, couple of men aboard in the fifth. The three-run homer. Elvis has had a big night in this building, driving in three, scoring three times. Big part of this Rangers lead. We'll be right back. Check winning numbers. Stretch, check your winning numbers. It's all possible if you download Washington's Lottery mobile app play today. And that is the great Stan Lee. Marvel Comics, Spider-Man, and so many others. Looking good, Stan, in the white jacket. We're at the first pitch. There he is, the legend. <laughs> Steve Johnson takes over for the Mariners. He's got Brian Holiday, Jerickson Profar, and Ian Desmond. 9 1 and 2.
High fly ball. Center field. As O'Malley comes in to get it. For Steve Johnson, 11 appearances on the air, 1 0 record. ERA under three at a 292, 15 strikeouts and 12 and a third. Holmes hitting just 196. His fastball right around 90 miles an hour. Slow curveball. Curveball would be in the 60s, probably around 65 miles an hour. Profar having another good night, two for three tonight. He is some combination. Can play second and short. Got some pop. Switch hitter. Runs well. It's a good athlete. Probably play some outfield for you too. Be interesting to see how Bannister handles that situation. Prince Fielder not in the lineup tonight. And struggling. Moreland's having a tough year. And this kid continues to hit. O'Malley got there. Bannister was asked about fielder. He said, hey, get his baseball card, look at the backup. Yep, absolutely. Nice sliding catch by Sean O'Malley getting a start in center field. He's a quality player, quality hitter. Yeah, he's scuffling right now. He said he's had some quality at bats that are unseen in the box score. He'll It'd be all right talking about Prince Fielder. Cano. Looked like Spider Man moving over to make that catch. To Rob D Ian Desmond. Five. Make that six pitches. For Steve Johnson. Nine for Rangers. Yeah, no, they are, and it's a good point because when you look at this series right now, the Mariners down after losing the first game. They have a chance to come back and win tomorrow, and, and you never know what's going to happen, but 
it'll be these same Rangers at Safeco Field next weekend. So regardless of what happens, you're going to see them a lot in the West. You have 19 games against this club. So coming into this, their Mariners had won three games. The Rangers had won three games. I, I agree with Val. The biggest thing for the Mariners, they just need to get healthy. Get Marte and Martin back in the lineup. Get Felix back in the rotation. And when you, we've shown the numbers throughout the night with the rotation, Dave, and it, it hasn't been good over the last couple of weeks for him. We've but been I, spoiled. But, I, but I, yeah, and I, that's what I was going to say. I'm, I'm, but I'm not overly concerned about it. Mel Stottlemyre obviously has a lot of work to get these guys back in line. But they, they've all. You talk about the back of the bubblegum card. They've all had success at this level, and it's going to turn around for them again. I totally agree with that. Here's Cesar Ramos in his second inning of work. That going to stay fair? Is that going to be enough? Elvis Andrews. A good run at it. He's been everywhere tonight. Mariners' final trip to Texas will be in September, right after it'll be the Labor Day week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Texas final trip to Seattle be in late August. Those games no. grouped right together. That'll be seven games in about 10 days. I think we would both agree that as you look at the Rangers, they're not going to go away. They're going to stay in this thing, and it's up to the Mariners to continue to win ball games, which they've been able to do. Came into this series tied with them a third of the way through the season. It's a long year. Just have to stay after it. It is nice, even though the Mariners right now are in the short end, having lost last night, trailing tonight with time running short. It's nice to be in this position. Beats the alternative by a lot. Ionetta rides one deep right center field. Got a lot of carry and bangs off the wall out there. He's got to shift into high gear to get the second, and he does. Second Third double. hit. Yeah, second double of the game for Chris. That's good to see. Had been struggling, but having a good night. Three for four. When you get a fastball, and he puts a pretty good charge into it. Thought he had a chance for it to get, leave the ballpark. Good swing. It's in the middle of the fence. Well played by Desmond. Converted shortstop playing center field for the Rangers. Doug Brokale, the pitching coach, bounces out of first base dugout. Buying some time for the right hander to get loose out in the pen for the Rangers. Matt Bush. Wrap up this series where we come home. We'll do that tomorrow. Century Link brings you the matchup. Derek Holland against Asashi Iwakuma. And we're trying to get over 500. He's pitched well on a nice, nice roll with three consecutive wins. There's Matt Bush. Hard throwing right hander. Very much so. Stephen Romero, one for two tonight, had a base hit his last time up. Sacrifice fly in the second inning to drive in a run. One oh pitch here to Stephen with Ionetta at second with one out. Popped up, Moreland taking a look. Oh, he made the catch. Two outs. Well, maybe he was going to get in the stands. He'll have to make an adjustment with that short wall, get around the corner of it to make the catch. Local knowledge. Odor there to provide a little bumper and buffer just in case and insurance. That's a tough one for Romero. Brings up Luis Sardinas. One for two of the walk.
Saquon to Luis. Fine pitch there, 0 and 2. Two outs and an 0-2 pitch coming. Swing and a miss. Tag applied by Holiday. Mariners are gone. Runner stranded at second. It's 9-4. Rangers as we go to the bottom of the eighth. Called up, bolster of the bullpen. This kid can rush it up there, 95, 98 plus. There's his dad, Edwin Senior, and his mom, Beatrice. Came all the way from Puerto Rico. See the baby boy here. Hopefully, make his big league debut. Maybe they'll see him tomorrow. Uh, what a nice moment for this young man. Talking to Scott Service, he said he's throwing 99 to 100. Good sinking, uh, boring and fastball. Hard slider, 87, 88. Get good depth to it, late movement on it. He also said that he's been throwing strikes, which is very important. Yep, converted starter. Did some good work down in Jackson, Double A. Steve Johnson continues on. He's got Nomar Mazzara, Adrian Beltre, and Rugnet Odor, three, four, and five here in the eighth inning. There's the slow curve ball misses with it at 64 miles an hour. Two and one. Steve had a six pitch seventh inning. Well tagged deep left center field. Just watching it leave. So Mazaris on the board with a base hit. Got it on a 2-1 pitch. Home run number 10, RBI number 27. He had a sack fly for the first run in the ballgame. He's going to get a fastball. You can see it on the EQC tracer. It's on the outside corner, but elevated. At that well over 400 feet. Here's Beltre. Beltre is 0 for 3 with a walk.
high fly ball short right field for Gutierrez. Four hundred eleven feet. That, that's impressive. Yeah. Beltre the only major starter without a hit. He did plenty of his damage last night driving in five. Mazzara with a long home run. Here's Odor. First game back after serving suspension for the fight with Jose Bautista. Scored twice. And he's two for three with a walk. Bottom of the order. So you look at a Mariner fan. At least gets a souvenir for his time tonight. This one's out of play. One two from Steve Johnson. He takes care of it. Makes a strong throw. Two outs here in the eighth. And that's going to bring up the left fielder Ryan Rua. Two run double. First inning. Since then he's added a fifth inning single to left. He's two for four. Former Mariner closer Tom will helps it up in the heating up for the Texas Rangers. All one to Rua. It's a high strike one one. Tom was called up today. Sent to Triple A for a while. Tough time keeping the ball in the ballpark. Three and one. Mariners will have the top of the order coming up. The top of the ninth. Three and two to Rua. Two more hits for Rua tonight. Good run for him. Twelve for his last twenty four. And he's aboard. Two out walk. Bring up Mitch Moreland. Moreland is one for three. Scored a run. Excuse me, one for four. Steve Johnson, a third pitcher tonight for the Mariners. Nuno preceded him. The starter was Nathan Cards, who went four plus eight hits, seven runs all earned, five walks, five caves. One on one to Moreland. Here's a one one. A couple of good fastballs from Steve Johnson on the outside corner.
Slap foul. Fifth time the Rangers have gone into double figures and run scored. Season high is 15 against the Angels on May 25. All two strikes. Here comes the two two. Stopped by Ionetta. Good night at the plate for Chris. Three hits this evening. Run scored three for four. Couple of doubles. Three and two. And that's going to bring up Elvis Andrews, who's hot tonight. Double and a three run homer. Stolen base, three runs scored. A couple of blocks from Steve, kind of losing command of his fastball. Last time up for Andrews, he sent Romero in left field to the track up against the wall where he made the catch to end the sixth inning. Nobody getting loose in the Mariner bullpen. Thirty pitches for Steve, fifteen strikes. 25th pitch of the inning here. Mm. 2 0. Come all 2 and 1. Clayton Kershaw and the Dodgers still lead 1-0. They're in the six now at home against Atlanta. Kershaw's given up just three hits. High team batting average for the Rangers. Runners in scoring position at the start of today, hitting 296. Andrews hitting 342. Six for 14 right now in that category. Pulled foul. Steve able to get back in the count. Six pitches to get three outs in the seventh laboring here in the eighth. Two and two. Andrews homered in the fifth. Second home run of the season. Two two. O'Malley is right there. Final out. Mazar's home run tacks another run on the board here for Texas 10 4 as we go to the ninth.
Thompson, a former Mariner. First time we've seen him since Tuesday, April 5th. The Mariners knocked him around that day. Cano hit a home run, followed by Cruz, a double, a double by Seeger, and a two run homer by Seth Smith. And here's Smith. He's going to be batting second after O'Malley leads off here. He'll pinch hit for Goody. Or O'Malley, one for four tonight. Picked up an RBI. Tom just recalled today to the Rangers. He was at Round Rock, where his ERA was just over one. Two oh here to O'Malley. Solidly struck, but right at Desmond. Barely had the move. And I'll bring up Seth Smith. Two for nine pinch hitting this year, an RBI, a double. Mariners pinch hitters this year hitting 340. Terrific number. Mm -hmm. Ball one from Big Town, the former Mariner. Seth, one. Seth has really been impressive in his career as a pinch hitter. 210 at bats for him, and he's hitting 305 as a pinch hitter. That's a tough job. That's pretty good work. That's going to keep you around for a long time. Yep. Two and one. Cano waiting on deck. Two one pitch. Three and one. Mariner RBIs tonight. Romero Cruz with a home run. RBI single O'Malley. Cruz with an RBI ground up. Home run by Nelly. This is 12th. Thompson loses Seth Smith. One out base runner here in the ninth. Second baseman Austin. Awesome. Bobby Cano. First inning, long at bat, got a base hit to right, extended his on base streak to 33 games. 33 consecutive ball games. Personal best and most among active players. Thought he hit one out his last time up. And a breaking ball. Took Mazzara to the warning track in right. Smith takes second on a difference. Holiday with a quick trip to the mound. Rangers have really spread their scoring around three in the first one in the second one in the third four in the fifth and one more in the eighth. Team Perez on the right, starting pitcher for Texas. Six innings and nine hits, three runs all earned, a walk, strikeout, gave up a home run.
0 2 to Ravi. Down to Moreland. Moreland will take it himself. Over to third goes Smith. Two outs. Now to bring up Nelson Cruz. Nelson, one for four. Home run in the third inning, his 12th home run of the year. Also picked up an RBI on a ground out. So two RBIs for Nelson tonight. Here we go, power on power. Strike one. Bouncing ball to Andrews. Takes his time, throws out a hustling Cruz, and that'll do it as the Rangers win it 10 4. Take the first two games of this series. Another disappointing start by a Mariners starter now, and that's a trend that hopefully will end sooner rather than later. Yeah, hopefully it'll end tomorrow with Iwakuma on the mound. They need a good outing from him. Try to salvage something from this series. A couple of tough games for the Mariners with high expectations coming into it, but now they trail the Rangers by two games. Carnes, the loser, five and two. Perez, the winner, four and four. 34,317, 309, the time of game as we send you off the Mariners post game. Presented by Delta Airlines. It starts right now with Angie and Dave.